Hello, hello, my most amazing artists. Today, we're going to be creating a value ice cream cone. And you'll understand what I mean in a minute. Uh, you need to get out a piece of paper and a pencil or a Sharpie to draw with. And today, you're going to need either colored pencils or crayons later on for your coloring. Okay. Let's get started. I'm going to draw with a Sharpie just so that I, you can see better. And I'm going to move this off the screen. Sorry. And remember, if you're using Sharpie, you can always, uh, always have a piece of paper underneath to protect your surface. Okay, let's get started. We're going to find the center of our paper with our finger. And we're going to drop it down just a little bit. And we are going to start with the bottom of the ice cream cone, that cool, drippy layer. Now remember, if I go too fast at any time, you can always pause the video. Underneath, we're going to make the cone. Then we're going to go from here, from the side, and we're going to curve it up, do the same on the other side, but we're not going to connect it with a line. We're going to draw the bottom part, this part, of the next scoop. Okay, so I even made a little drippy texture there. Sometimes it's kind of fun, right? And then we're going to connect by bringing that scoop sides up. And we're going to do one more. It's just a bumpy line. Goes across. And we're going to bring this up. And we're going to bring it up. And we're going to almost stop. Because at the top, I'm going to draw a cherry for mine. Now, you don't have to draw a cherry on yours if you don't want to. Drawing a cherry. And then I'm going to connect it. Wow. Wow. This is, this is starting to look good and tasty for me. The next thing is you're going to get your colored pencils or your crayons out. Either one works. Another thing that you could use are color sticks. That's what I'm going to use today. Um, these are a great piece of art supply. If you ever get the chance to get these, they're pretty fun. They're like very large colored pencils. And they're good for the little ones too because they don't break as easily. So, I'm going to start with brown. And I'm going to press very lightly, very lightly, and just give some color or value to my cone. I just want to go over... I'm trying to stay inside the lines the best I can. And I just want to give it some color. Okay. Now I'm going to press a little bit harder. And we're going to do some diagonal lines that go this way. And some diagonal lines that go this way. But right now, I, I, I want to add some value to the cone. I want to make it look more 3D. And here's a trick, boys and girls. We're going to press a little bit harder on the sides to make it look a little bit more 3D just next to the line. Now take your time. Now 
and there we have it. The next thing I want you to do is I want you to pick out your favorite color for your ice cream. We're only going to pick one color for these three ice cream scoops. So go ahead and do that right now. I'll wait. Did you find it? Did you find your favorite one color to use? Well, I certainly did. I picked out blue because I'm going to have some blueberry ice cream. And we're going to start by adding, we're going to start add, adding value to our ice cream cone. Value is the lightness and darkness of a color. And it's all about how hard you press. We're going to go from dark to light on our ice cream. So watch me. I'm going to start by coloring in this bottom ice cream cone, uh, scoop, sorry, bottom ice cream scoop. I go really slow next to the lines. These are really tricky lines to color next to. And I'm going to, I'm pressing as hard as I can. Okay. I'm going to color this whole thing in and I'll be right back. I'll have it done in a snap. Aha. And here we go. I filled in my entire bottom part of my ice cream by pressing as hard as I could and staying inside the lines. Now, this took me a little bit longer than a snap, but I took my time with it. You can press the video for pause when you need to. The next step is we're going to go to, we're going to skip over this scoop. We're going to go to the top ice cream and we are going to color in as lightly as we can, as lightly as we can. Remember to go slow when you're next to the line, stay inside the lines. I'm going to press pause and have it done. And snap magic. I filled in my whole top with a very light, light pressure, but I was still coloring it in. Okay. Now we are going to press a little, we're going to color this center scoop in. We're going to press a little bit harder than the top one and a little bit lighter than the bottom one for here. So it looks a little bit like in the middle. Okay snap and I'm done. Can you see how our ice cream cone goes from light to dark? I hope you can see it on your paper too. If you can't, don't worry. This is something that takes practice and time, but I'm sure that you will get better with practice. All right. What did we forget to color in? my most favorite part, the cherry on top. All right, boys and girls, as long as you tried your best, that's all that matters. Now we have a background to fill up. You can fill it up with anything that you want. I think that for today, I'm going to fill mine with spirals and polka dots. But that's just my idea. What's your idea? I hope you had fun. I will see you later. Bye-bye.